YouTube. This is your friendly neighborhood DraftKings Addict bringing my top picks for Tuesday's main NBA DFS slate. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get the homework out the way. Please don't forget to like the video. It really helps out the channel. Also, guys, if you're new to the channel, thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you go for daily NBA heat. Also, comments, guys. Don't forget to drop your comments below. Let me know how you feel about the plays, who you love, who you hate. And let's go ahead and break down today's NBA DFS slate. All right, guys. So on today's slate, let's see. It looks like we have... Let me go over to my uh, position optimizer on draft dashboard. We have a four-game main slate. Awesome. Plenty of picks, right? Not, not really. But um, I don't like small game slates, guys. But on small game slates, you only got four games, so you got to pick your side. You can't play everybody. Um, but let's go ahead and break down what side we're going to be standing on. So... Uh, well, at least for me. Next up, um, let's go ahead and go with the point guard, guys. So, at the top, you see you got John Wall at 9.8K. Gets a nice, juicy matchup versus Atlanta. 235-point over, over and under. And they say that the game is going to be only decided by three points. So, if y'all think that's true, man, I don't know. I personally don't. But, hey, John Wall is in a smash matchup, guys. He's coming off a couple of hot games where he scored 67 and 80. DraftKings points, alrighty, and those were higher over and under games that were also close, and this, that's what this one is projected to be, so John Wall is definitely in the talk. Um, same thing when it goes to Indiana versus Cleveland, and this game is scheduled to be a blowout, alright, at 12.5K, I mean, I'm sorry, 12.5 um, um, point differential for uh, the Indianapolis Pacers, so um, let's go ahead and get, uh, get some Victor Oladipo, I think he'll be lower on just because I think people are going to avoid him because of the uh, blowout potential. But as you can see, he put up 57 DraftKings points in the last game that he played. And his history versus this team shows that he can put up 72, 63, and 43. But I won't have a whole lot of Oladipo, but I will have a couple of Oladipo lineups. All right. Spencer Dinwiddie, uh, definitely somebody that I want to play versus L.A. Should be a nice high over and under game. Should be closely decided. Only a two and a half point point differential. So give me some Dim Witty at 7.6K, man. I like him versus the Lakers. He's been getting a decent amount of run and uh putting up uh, decent fantasy points when it comes to uh, his his uh production. 42 and 51 before the last game, where he only put up 26, but I like him. Um Jamal Murray, they're a little tight on guards. If you look at uh Denver, you know, they don't have a lot of options when it comes to guards. So Jamal Murray's getting all the minutes he can handle. And he's been producing lately, 36, 29, and 36. So I like Jamal because he has a nice floor. All right, it looks like 35 is his floor. And he has some ceiling. This guy can put up 50 DraftKings points if he gets going with a few steals and some assists and some, uh, some threes and stuff like that. So uh, give me some Jamal Murray at 6.6K. Lonzo Ball, definitely somebody that should be in the conversation as well. Uh, just came off a 59-point game, scored 31. He seems to be taking more shots. Uh, definitely getting more assist. And, of course, he has nice defense when it comes to stealing the ball and stuff like that. So, uh, definitely, Lonzo Ball should be in the talk at 6.5K. He's somebody that could definitely go off uh, versus Brooklyn at 6.5K. Trey Young versus Washington. Man, nice matchup, right? 235 over under game. He's playing around 30 minutes on average. 45, 18, and 33 when it comes to his production. But I've noticed it seems like he plays better at home. So, I'm going to take a shot at Trey Young at 6.4K. Uh, I believe Jeremy Lin is out. I'm going to have to confirm that, but I believe Jeremy Lin. Oh, let's look at him on here. Jeremy Lin. Now, it says he's healthy, but he only played 13 minutes last game. So, um, Trey Young seems to be getting his minutes now, guys. I, um, I like Trey Young at 6.4K. I'm going to like his, uh, his counterpart a little bit better. We're going to talk about him later. Monte Morris has been getting a lot of minutes. Like I said, they're a little tight on guard. Guards over in Denver. And at 4.7K, this guy's averaging somewhere around 27 uh, to 30 DraftKings points, which is not bad. And he gets a nice matchup versus Dallas, guys. So at 4.7K, I like some Monte Morris again. Look at his minutes, 28, 26, 37 in the last three games. Putting up 39, 32, and 28 in the last three games. So I like Monte Morris on this slate. And I believe they have some more players that may be out in Denver. Juan Herner and Gomez could be out. You see Gary Harris is out. Barton been out for a long time. They just don't have a lot. Millsap is now out. So they got a lot of uh, a lot of injuries there, guys. So Tom Sadoransky, man. I'm going to go ahead and take him off of my player pool. 
because they got uh, Decker and um, Trevor Reza now active. But Tom Sadoransky has had a decent history versus this team with 26 and 37 DraftKings points. So, you know, he could be somebody that go off. But I'm going to go ahead and take him off because I'm a little concerned with the extra players that they have now on um, on that team. So, uh, But Reza plays the small four slash power four. Jeff Green is playing. So Tom Sadoransky still could be in play. Come off the bench. Carrying a load when it comes to the bench player. So go ahead and add Tom Sadoransky to you. To your watch list. J.J. Barrera is going to be a nice play, especially if Dennis Smith Jr. sits. All right, give me some J.J. Barrera, 4.3K. This guy is a, a point per minute monster when it comes to assisting and scoring the ball and uh, some defensive peripherals. So give me some of that. Matthew Della Vadova, man. This guy, Cleveland is loving him. 27, 24, and 30 in his last three games. He's playing somewhere around 20 plus minutes per game. Um, out there hustling. Don't know how much hustling he's going to do versus Indiana, but. I will take a shot at him at 4.1K. I won't have a whole, whole lot of them, but I will have a couple of shares of Matthew Delavadova. Just want to mention him, man. He's been playing okay the last three games. As you can see, he got that fire uh, emblem right there. So, All right, so that's my point guard. So let's go over to the shooting guard. So we look at the shooting guards. Some of the play players is here, like uh, Oladipo, but Bradley Beal, man. That's my favorite guy on the slate, man. I'm going to be honest. At 8.5K, too cheap for this matchup versus ATL. Should be a nice day for this young man. So, I'm going with Bradley Beal over John Wall, personally. But, hey, what you saving, what, $1,100 by going with uh, Bradley Beal versus John Wall? All right, so, um, hey, pick your size, guys. John Wall or Beal. Or both. You could play both, actually. All right, so next up, we uh Bert Bazemore. We already talked about Dim Weedy at the point guards, but Kent Bazemore is another guy I want. 6.3K with all the injuries. He's playing a lot of minutes, putting up a lot as far as production goes. And if you look at his last three games, 34, 31, and 40. And if you look at his matchup versus Washington, he scored 44, 32, and 22. So, of course, I'm hoping he's going to get the 44. But um, I like his chances of doing that at 6.3K, playing at home versus Washington in a tight, high, over and under game. Give me some of that. Joe Harris has been playing well, too, lately. 29 and 36 in his last two games. And at 4.9K, playing around 30 minutes a game. I like that. And he gets an L.A. matchup. Again, high over and under game, projected to be close. Give me some of Joe Harris. Um, D. Russell, man, there you go, baby. So drop it in the comments, man, if the first thing you thought about when you saw Brooklyn Pan L.A. Um, in Brooklyn, did you think about the whole narrative of D. Russell getting traded from the Lakers? All right, but I like D. Russell, man. I may not have, out of 20 lineups, I'm going to have 15 of them. I'll probably have them in like five. So... Um, I do like D. Russell at 8.1K again, especially if Crab is out. Uh, I believe he's currently questionable. Um, I like D. Russell because um, Lavert is already hurt and been out for a while, so they really don't have a lot of options at the at the guard besides him and Dinwiddie. So I do like his chances of doing well at 8.1K versus his old team, the Lakers. So Dunsick, enough said. Rookie's playing out of his mind, um, averaging 36 DraftKings points per game, 7.7K in the matchup versus Denver. Pretty decent defense, but I like this guy. This guy is, is matchup proof, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and run him out there. Herter, or whatever, however you say his name, 4.3K in a matchup versus Washington. Again, they're tight at that spot. Uh, he just came off a dud game where he put up eight, but if you see before that, he had 20, 23, 26, and 34. So this guy can get hot and um, do some nice scoring. So I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on him at 4.3K. Uh, one of my value plays. And again, we already talked about Sadoransky and uh, Della Vadova. So. Those are my options at, at, at shooting guard. Small forward, guys. We got Kent Bazemore. Again, we talked about him. Jeff Green getting a lot of run with the uh, injuries they have there. And it looks like even though Ariza is expected to play as a game-time decision, with Otto Porter out, we're going to have Jeff Green starting. And Trevor Reese is going to take over the small forward spot on this team. So give me some Jeff Green. I just like Jeff Green. He, he does a lot. 34 DraftKings points in his last game. 36 the last time he faced ATL. So I like him at 4.8K. All right, Allen Crabb, again, is currently questionable, but it says uh, it is undetermined if he will suit up. But if he's if he's out, that's going to definitely make um, some of these other players on this team a better play. Like, uh, next up, Sam Decker, man. Played 36 minutes and put up 37 DraftKings points the last game that he played. Woo, nice. So 3.9K, I'm going to have some Decker. In my lineups, seems like he's going to be taking over the 
the uh, scoring and stuff for the second team pretty much. So I like me some Sam Decker at 3.8K. Get you some. And L. Bron James versus Brooklyn. Just tell me, guys, who on Brooklyn is going to stop this guy? 10.6K on a four-game slate. LeBron's price is too damn cheap. Give me LeBron James. He's locked and loaded. All right, one, two, three, four, five games versus Brooklyn. He's averaging somewhere around 64 DraftKings points, guys. Need I say more? Next. Kyle Kuzma, like him as well, 7.5K. He's LeBron's right-hand man when he comes to scoring. All right, give me some Kuzma, especially with uh, Ingram out. Kuzma should get a lot of good run. And again, um, I like those two guys right there, man. So give me some uh, Kuzma and uh, LeBron James. Thad Young, man, has been playing uh, nice as well. 50 and 58 in the last three games. All right, he gets a nice matchup versus Cleveland without um, Tristan Thompson. So um, I like the chances of this guy getting a nice double-double. All right, at 6.2K. But again, like I said, there is some blowout risk there. Okay, guys? So, But I do like Thad Young because he's been hot. And at 6.2K, I don't want him to go off for a 50-point game. I don't have none of them. So I will have a couple of shares. Barnes, you can go jump in the river. I ain't playing him. I don't care if he's 2K. I'm not playing him. All right, so next up, uh, Trey Lyles, man. If uh, Hernan Gomez is ruled out, Trey Lyles, I believe, is the next man up. So at 4.2K, I will have some Trey Lyles, but only if Hernan Gomez is uh, ruled out, all right? Because this guy's going to get more minutes, which should lead to more production, but only if he's ruled out. Now, you could take a fly on this guy. He's the one that's starting for Alan Crabb. His name is uh, Kirk Carux or something like that. But anywho, he's doing all right. 20, 25, and 24 in the last three games. All right. Now, he's 4K. So, um, you know, that's something to be considered. And I believe Joe Harris is around the same price, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, Joe Harris is 4.9K. So, that's going to be a tough pick there. But it is the L.A. Lakers. They give up enough points for everybody to eat. So, um, just consider him. Power forward, guys. We're going to go with John Collins, man. Look at that. 7.9K. This guy's been, again, he's been beasting. Look at, it, look at his, his game log. 43, 31, 44, 57, and 45. So I will have some shares of John Collins. Man, they look like I'm just going to have a game stack of Atlanta and Washington. Devin, same thing. Been playing well the last couple of games. His minutes are starting to be consistent where he's playing around 30-plus minutes a game. And at that price versus Washington with no Dwight Howard, give me some Dwayne Dedman. Man, 5.6K. I never thought I would be that excited to play Dwayne Dedman, man. But, yeah, I am. Talked about Reza already, Decker. Now, Thomas Bryant, man, 3.7K. This is somebody that we could consider, man. All righty. If he gets the minutes, of course, they don't have a lot of options at the center spot. This guy could be a nice little spot at 3.7. He put up 31 in his last game and played 33 minutes. So maybe they're finally going to be consistent in giving this guy minutes and letting him play. All right, and see what he can do. So um, I do like Thomas Bryant on this slate. We already talked about LeBron, Thad Young. We already talked about Trey Lyles. Kukas, whatever his name is. Okay, that's all we got at Power Four, guys. So last but not least, let's talk about center. Of course, some of the same plays here. Jared Allen, we could take a flyer on. I say a flyer because his last game, he only played 14 minutes. The game before that, he played 28. And the game before that, he played 16. So I don't know what the hell this man's minutes are going to do. At 5.5K, that's a nice spot versus the Lakers. But does he get in a foul trouble or something like that and don't play? Uh, but I do have him in my player pool because, again, at 5.5K on this slate, that's a good price. All right. We already talked about Thomas Bryant. Now, I can't I can't overlook Jokic, guys. Again, the guy's been playing well. He gets Dallas. DeAndre Jordan is trash. Yes, I said it. Look at him. He's trash. But he's in a good spot. But I'm not playing him. I'm sorry. I, I, he's, he's on my, my list. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the S word list. So, um, but Jokic, I do like at home. Some of the players could be out like Hernan Gomez and stuff like that. So, he may be called upon to do more. And so at 9.7K, I will have me some shares of Jokic. Mason Plumlee, eh, 5.4K. Hernan Gomez could be out. <laughs> nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. Ronnie Hollis Jefferson, somebody that I did consider. Matter of fact, let me add him into my player pool. Question is, does he get minutes? Does he get minutes? All righty. Uh, but I do like Ronnie Hollis Jefferson. I have a couple shares of him. Not a whole, whole lot, but definitely some. It's funny, Shannon Fry starts and he only puts up six DraftKings points. Uh, please don't play Shannon Fry. I don't care if you're starting. All right. Trash. All right. So that's it, guys. So Draft Dashboard, 30-day trial for $1. The link is in the description of this video. 
once you go in there and select all your watch players guys it can optimize your lineup but remember the lines are gonna, only going to be as good as your player pool so only put in your, your your best plays guys all right so as you can see it optimized me a lineup here with a couple plays and so uh, if i like to i can run with this one so i just click save and now i have that in my save list also if you look up here we have a mass lineup generator where you can click on mass lineup generator generate 20 40 or 100 lineups all righty and set a couple of different parameters parameters and hit generate lineups and then it'll make you that amount of lineups guys so remember it's based off your player pool guys so um it's just a algorithm that looks at the uh, price and the value and tries to fit in pieces to optimize plays but it's only as good as the information that you feed it guys so all right so 30 day trial for one buck and again you get nba nhl mlb and then also if you look at to the right you got fan duel as well as DraftKings. so all right good luck on today's slate guys here's my quote-unquote core plays jamal murray bradley bill kit Bazemore, lebron james and larry nance just because they don't have a lot of options and the last time these two teams met he played 22 minutes and put up 40 DraftKings points so give me some larry nance jr that's my quote-unquote core plays and it leaves you around 4k for each other player and um again you could drop down from LeBron James and go with James, John Wall if you think he's going to do something. But again, I'm worried about blowout risk. But, hey, hey, pick your poison, guys. So, good luck. Peace. Have a good night.